Bienvenidos and welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today we are coming in with another delicious recipe. We're talking Spanish style roasted vegetables. This is known in Spain as verduras al horno al ajillo. Now what makes these roasted veggies stand out above the rest, besides their beautiful presentation, is that they offer a deep concentration of garlic flavors and that all the vegetables are perfectly roasted and that's thanks to the method on how we're going to prep them and of course the cooking times. Folks, this recipe is very easy to make. It comes together in just 40 minutes and it's the perfect side dish for any meal of the day. All right, let's begin by getting our ingredients ready. I'm going to grab one medium-sized zucchini and cut it into rounds that are half an inch thick, which is about one and a quarter centimeters. Then we'll add the slices of zucchini over a wire rack with some paper towels underneath and you want to make sure they're all in a single layer. And we'll season each one with a kiss of sea salt and you want to make sure to do this on both sides. And we're going to leave our zucchini to sit here while we prep the rest of the vegetables. By using this method in the zucchini, that salt is going to extract all the water out of it. That way later on when we roast it, it doesn't get mushy and it keeps its beautiful firm texture. Then we'll cut one large onion into rounds that are half an inch thick, which once again is one and a quarter centimeters. The secret to this roasted veggie platter, make sure to cut all the vegetables into larger pieces, except for the potatoes. You want to cut them into smaller pieces, that way all the vegetables perfectly roast together. We'll also cut six white mushrooms in half through the stem, and all the vegetables that I'm using, I've already washed and patted dry. Cut one red bell pepper into thick strips, Cut two tomatoes in half. Cut one large carrot that's already been peeled into pieces that are half an inch thick, which once again is one and a quarter centimeters. And we'll cut two medium sized potatoes into smaller bite sized pieces. Once again, you want to cut the potatoes into smaller pieces than the rest of the vegetables. That way everything evenly roasts together. And as you can see, I'm leaving the skins on the potatoes as it adds more flavor and nutrition. But if you like, you can peel the potatoes. Then we'll move back to the slices of zucchini. I'm going to add them over some paper towels, once again in a single layer, and then pat them completely dry. This is to remove any of that excess water that the salt extracted out of the zucchini. For the next step, I'm going to start adding the vegetables into a baking pan that's lined with parchment paper. Important to use parchment paper here, that way once the vegetables are roasted, they don't stick to the surface. And you want to try and add them all in a single layer, just as best as you can. Then we'll drizzle the vegetables with a kiss of garlic infused olive oil. This is what gives the veggies that beautiful concentration of flavors. You'll find a link where you can get the Spanish one that I'm using from Biazzo in the description box below. Then we'll season all the veggies with sea salt, except for the zucchini as it's already seasoned. And freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll add the vegetables into a preheated oven, bake and broil option, that's the bottom and top heat, very similar to a convection oven, 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. If your oven doesn't offer these options, just bake your vegetables and get in there at the halfway point and flip them, that way they all evenly roast. In the meantime, let's make our garlic sauce, which is what takes these roasted veggies to the next level of goodness. I'm going to add three cloves of garlic that I roughly chopped into a mortar along with a small handful of fresh parsley and a pinch of sea salt. And using a pestle, we'll pound down on the ingredients until we form a paste-like texture. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, no big deal. You can also use a food processor here, a handheld blender, or even a Nutribullet. Then we'll add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. And we'll give it a mix and then set it aside. All right, let's move back to the vegetables. After 25 to 30 minutes, those vegetables should be perfectly roasted. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick, but more specifically the potatoes and the carrots, as they take longer to cook, and if it easily goes in there, but with a little resistance, they are ready to go. At this point, I'm gonna remove the vegetables from the oven, and we'll drizzle them with the garlic sauce, making sure to evenly spread it all around.
Then we'll add the veggies back into the oven just for a couple minutes. That way the garlic can get nice and fragrant and for that sauce to really incorporate into the vegetables. After a couple minutes, we'll remove the veggies from the oven and we'll serve them directly out of the baking pan, garnished with some fresh parsley. Check it out, Spanish style roasted vegetables. Once again, known in Spain as verduras al horno al ajillo. Beautiful presentation, super easy to make, and all done in about 40 minutes. Let's give them a try and see how they turned out. Once again, folks, verduras al horno al ajillo. And let me tell you, the aromas in the kitchen are mind blowing good. So much garlic goodness. So this I cannot wait to try. Grab a little bit of everything. Here we go. There's so much good flavors in there, but most importantly, all the vegetables are perfectly roasted and there's so much garlic goodness. Folks, give this try at home the perfect side dish for any meal. And I promise with that first bite, this just might be the best roasted vegetables in the world. Really quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Alan M. Hirschman, Nancy T., David Anthony, Jean, and Maybeth Robles. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Uh, leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.